I posted something on my community about witchcraft. I asked if people believe in witchcraft. Most of the people said they don't believe in it. There is a place in the north of Ghana where they have a camp called witch camp for females who are older. I saw one prophet who I am not a fan of. The gestures that he did is amazing. These women have been stigmatized, called witches, put in a witch camp. I don't know which way they used in seeing these people as being witches. How do you know that someone is a witch? Why should we do that? I blame the children of these women. Is it that they cannot take care of their parents? These old women, all they need is love. All they need is support. All they need is food. All they need is shelter. That name witches camp must be changed right now. If you are children of those women and you have made the society send those women to that camp and call them witches, it's a shame to you. Sin chao, sin chao, your boy Melo Day. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you are new here, kindly consider subscribing, hit that notification bell so you become part of the Strive family. If you're already a subscriber, you know how we do it. I salute you, I salute you, I salute you, I salute you, I salute you. You are one of the amazing people in the whole world, and I really appreciate you for the love and support you give me on this channel. Like I always say, if you want to be part of this channel or this group and enjoy it, you need to be sensible, you need to be smart, you need to be wise, you need to be intelligent, you need to be open-minded and reasonable so that even if you don't agree with what we say or do over here, you leave a sensible comment without any insults. We try as much as possible to be truthful without any insults, without any attacks. If you are right, we will tell you that you are right. If you are wrong, same way we will tell you that you are wrong. We don't pamper anybody in on this note. I don't want peace. I want problems always. Yes, guys, this is what we do here. There is a very nice case that is very important. And I want us to, you know, observe it, analyze it, and then we give a judgment out there. Now, I posted something on my community about witchcraft. I asked if people believe in witchcraft. So it was like a survey. And most of the people said they don't believe in it. Some also said they believe in it. So I decided that I bring a video on witchcraft on this channel so that we can, you know, all analyze it and give some judgment both from my side and in the comment section. Now, this is it. There is a place in the north of Ghana where they have a camp and this camp is called witchcraft camp yes witch camp for females who are older so the basis at which they used to you know find these witches I don't know unless I, I start to go and do some investigation but there is a camp like this over there where older women old old women are kept and uh you know people have stigmatized them and you know it's so crazy i had it since i was a little boy and it still exists the reason why i want to talk about this is that i saw one prophet who i am not a fan of but the gestures that he did is amazing so i decided that i bring him here we talk about the witch camp and then we talk about the prophet also so now this is what we will do We'll go watch the prophet's video, take our time, listen to the things that they will say over there. Then we say what we want to say after the video. Let's watch it. So my men will say more about go back on ninety four. What I am coming, I am coming. I am coming. I am 
Je ne sais pas si tu es un homme qui a été fait pour Na moye ye kakran kakran na mon fanya mo eye no Dozo ne moye kam ay dega million fia ye mo dela ndan nan adabil gula dan kwala mami ka zan guwa mana Eh mo dainen so o hawa e wa ho me de e hu sika beja adom onko pe nkrofoni embe ye ni nyana ma mo Dieu Ade moka bebre mo. So guys, let me summarize what he said and the translation. So this man went to visit this witch camp. And according to him, they are 94. So he decided that he will give every one of them a capital of 1,000 Ghana cities, which is like $100 here in Ghana. So 94 of them, everybody is getting 1,000 Ghana. Now, he told them that that money is for them. And they must not allow anyone take the money from them. He knows why he said that. He knows why he said that. So after that, he said he will renovate any problem that they have with their buildings over there. And then he said if he goes back to Kumasi, where he came from, he will make sure they will bring their car. So he will buy a car for them. This is the simple message this man left to these old women who they classify them as witches. Now, this is it. Like I said, this man, I'm not a fan of him, but this guest is so amazing that even if you don't like a person like that, you need to start liking that person. You understand? Now, these women ha have been stigmatized, called witches, put in a witch camp. I don't know which way they used in seeing these people as being witches and putting them at that camp. Like, if I think about it, I don't really understand. I'm not saying there isn't, there are no witches. Yes, there are witches and wizards. But my problem is, how do you know that that person is a witch? Now, with my survey that i did people were saying that they don't believe in witches but the truth is witches do exist but you not believing in witches doesn't mean that a witch cannot bewitch you a witch cannot disturb you yes they are in their lane it isn't everybody that witches attack but you not believing in them doesn't mean they cannot attack you so this is something we should understand but my problem is, how do you know that someone is a witch? That you take that person and put them at the witch camp? Why is it that there are no male over there? Why is it that there, there are no male 
uh, wizard camp over there? Is it that only women are the ones who can be possessed by spiritual forces? Why should we do that? Why should we do that? And I blame the children of these women agreeing, agreeing for the community or whoever to take this, their parents or their mothers and go put them at a witch camp. Is it that they cannot take care of their parents? Is it that they don't have a place for their parents or their mother, their mothers to sleep? These old women, all they need is love. All they need is support. All they need is food. All they need, they need is shelter. All they need is good water. All they need is money. So you putting them there and tagging them as witches at the witch camp is totally wrong. That name must be changed right now because if you go to the Western world, they have places where they keep some old people. Yes, if you are old and even if your children are not ready to take care of you or they cannot take care of you, then you they send you to that place. They don't have that tag, witch camp. Why is it that only we Africans we have to create a place like this and put women, old women over there and say they are witches. That is why they are at that camp. That name must change right now. That name must be changed. It isn't necessary. If it's an old age camp, we understand. If it's an old, old age home, we understand. But that name witches camp isn't the best thing to do, isn't the right thing to do. Because there are no places like that for men. Is it only women who are witches? Is it only women who are witches? This thing must stop. Anyways, with the prophet who did that, this is an amazing gesture that a whole lot of people who are prominent should learn from this man and also go help these women. Like I said, all they need is food, water, love. All they need is money to take care of themselves, good shelter. We shouldn't just ignore them, abandon them, just because, in quotes, they say they are witches. That name has changed. How do you know someone is a witch? Even he who is a prophet doesn't agree that these people are witches. He doesn't see that they are witches. Even if he sees, he, ignore, he has ignored it and go help them. Let's stop this. This isn't a good thing to do. Change that name to old age camp or old age home. That is the best thing to do. We shouldn't stigmatize these old women. Some of them can even die early because of that stigma. You see the joy that they had when this man gave them money, provided them with some things, and he said he will come renovate their houses and also buy them a car. Look at the joy. That is all they need. If you are a child or you are children of those women and you have made the society sent those women to that camp and call them witches. It's a shame to you. It's a shame and God is watching you. Yes, it's a shame. God is watching you. Anyways, on here, we always strive for glory. We strive for success. We strive for travels. We strive for the truth. And today, we are striving for love for old women. Yes, we are striving for love for these old women who are called witches. It isn't a good thing to do. Don't forget to subscribe to this YouTube channel, hit the notification bell so you become part of this tribe family. Like this video, let it go viral. Leave a comment. Tell me what you think about what we've discussed right now without any insult. Your boy Melody, I'll see you in the next video. Cut rice. No more. If you know make money, friends, good dog you. Nobody said we love you. You first step up your hustle, cause one day you gotta make it. If you don't make money, friends go dog you. Nobody said go love you. You first step up your hustle, cause one day, cause one day. No you gotta love me now.